Well, hello, M3. It's Sunday uh, afternoon, late afternoon. I just got to say this. I, I, I hope you'll see it tonight, if not first thing in the morning. But you know what? Words matter. I just been praying for something powerful to share. And it started last week with me telling everybody to say, listen, it's going to be a great week. It's going to be a great week. So you know what? I can say all this, but let me back it up. What's the most powerful book in, in the world? The Bible. Okay. And I'm going to tell you two things. This is words matter. Get it. Words matter. I can tell I'm fired up. Proverbs 6, 2. You are snared by the words you speak. You are snared or you're not snared. Okay? So what we speak is so powerful. More importantly, Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life. Death and life are the power of the tongue. The power of the tongue. Whoa, I mean, you know, we got to proclaim how good God is, how great this week's going to be, because we get defeated in the power, in the mind. The, you know, the mind is the battlefield. There's a battlefield going on, and prayer is important. Okay, there's five things in prayer, which I'll just go very quickly. We need to praise before we pray. But number one, um, we need, um, we need a petition. We need protection. We pray. And it's all in the Lord's Prayer. Let me just say that. It's easier. Look at the Lord's Prayer. Look at how it is. You'll see uh, proclaiming. You'll see petitioning to the Lord and ask for protection um, and, and proclamation. It's just all there. But again, words matter. Words matter. So right now, as soon as you see it, start saying, um, you know, I want you to say it uh, throughout the whole day. And, and, and at night, that words matter, that I love the Lord, I proclaim his goodness, his mercy lasts and dureth forever. Okay, you're a chosen person, a special, a, 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 a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Hmm. Okay, and so is your family, your precious family. So again, praise God for your family, for your job, for your life, but praise him because guess what? Remember this. His body on the cross was broken so that ours could be put back together and healed. You can't get any better than that. Armor up to stand up, to speak up, boom, to show up, blow it up with the words you say and praise him and raise him for he is worthy to be praised.